but not for me. I lay on me, no post up for riches or fame. Yeah. And, and that's what I, that's something because when you think about it, it's just, I look at what you're saying and there has to be some kind of way something linked you to the education of understanding how not to get in a bad deal. It, sometimes it's just some spirit, you know, and people may think that I can't try this with loot and fire. Because if I find out a problem, they think that. Yeah. So they come to me, Irie, or don't come to me at all. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to talk about, let's get into the so, music because I don't want When did you start finding your love for music? music. I know that um, because they did music, so you always heard the music because they always had the sound system. But mm -hmm. when did you say, okay, I don't want to jump in the sound system thing. I want to be an artist. I want to do, I want to be a DJ. That's what I want to do. How old were you when you realized that? All right. Artists of my age, we started out around sound system. Mm-hmm. We never know about going to the studio to record a song and writing a professional melody. Or mm -hmm. But from a band, me in the dance, I hold the mic, I sing, I DJ, I chant, I say a poem, I run a joke, and everything. But professional, rec professional recording started out about 1994. Mm -hmm. When we go to the studio, we do audition, we meet prominent producers who people say big and female label powerful and try to sing with them here for see. Oh, they would have liked our voice to record a song with us. We get denied a lot. A few places that we went and them say, we know want your style of singing. Until we just find ourselves fit in a lane and we get opportunity and we record good songs and people like it and we start going. What label you recorded with first? The first label was a label called Sapphire, Sapphire mm -hmm. Record. That was 1998. Did they treat you right on yeah. the record deal? Yeah. Did you feel good about yeah. it still to this day? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Those first people were Irie. It's like a brother, a friend of mine, father was the boss. So he treat me like a son. Did you run into a bad record deal anywhere? No, I don't, no. I mostly no. work for me. Okay. Independent? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and most of uh, the distribution and recording companies in Jamaica, you have to be sharp to get good deals because even sometimes I think they did themselves, chicken themselves. And, and and that's what I that's something because when you think about it, it's just uh, I look at what you're saying and there has to be some kind of way something linked you to the education of understanding how not to get in a bad deal. It, sometimes it's just some spirit, you know. And people may think that I can't try this with loot and fire. Because if I find out a problem, they think that. Yeah. So they come to me, Irie, or don't come to me at all. I got it. I got it. And and, and that's because you mean business. Yeah, I'm rough enough. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Because we need rougher people because so many yeah, people cry. You have to remain a man today. Because there's beer half a man. In the world, so you have to be masculine to the max. So you have to keep the baritone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I uh, saw somewhere where it said that you recorded your first song for Budja. Well, I, 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 the, in them time, mm -hmm. I was doing the work with Sapphire while I was at Budja. Mm -hmm. So I do recording at Budja, but my first release was with Sapphire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what was this the first song that you did? You remember it? Ah, uh, song like that song even got played on the radio. Mm -hmm. And I said, All the Yacha City, me beer, me sister, them no care. I joined me, I got joined them in a day, you them tears, you know. Mm. Hey, <laughs> like that. I'm gonna get into so it. Where you, right get, now. where you get inspiration for all your songs? It's just day to day. I know we think mm -hmm. because we think contrary to whatever the system come with. Because we say everything where the system come with is can't help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.